This compound is worse than cholesterol for cardiovascular disease. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and let's get right into this video. Nanoplastics found in clogged arteries. There was a 2024 New England Journal of Medicine study. There was 257 patients, and they basically removed plaque from the carotid arteries, and approximately 60% of them had measurable amounts of polyethylene, and approximately 12% had PVC or polyvinyl chloride. Basically, it had plastic in the plaque of the arteries. Interestingly enough, in the follow-up, they showed a 4.5 times or 450% increase or more likely to have stroke, heart attack, or even death 34 months after the surgery or the procedure. So it increases, if they find plastic in the plaque of your arteries, your increased death risk, stroke, or heart attack goes up by 450%. That's a lot. So, now, it is estimated that 39,000 to 52,000 nanoparticles of plastic are ingested by Americans every single year. Okay. Now, in order to reduce the exposure, you have to change your habits. So, sources of plastic. Tap water has some plastic in there. So you want to use a reverse osmosis system in your house. It's a five-stage filtration system. The under-the-sink uh, type of system costs maybe $500, and you need to change your filter maybe every six months. But it's well worth it to filter out a lot of the chemicals or byproducts of uh, what's left in the tap water. Bottle water. Obviously, it's in plastic. If you take a bottle of water, right, you see how flimsy it is and you crunch it? Every time you crunch that bottle, you're basically releasing plastic. Or if you leave your, a case of bottled water in your car and you just take it out and you drink it, in the heat, you're releasing more chemicals into that water. Fish or seafood tends to have a lot of plastic only because we're dumping plastic into the ocean, okay? Salt is also known to show plastic particles in there. Coffee makers. So if you have a coffee maker at home, look at all the different plastic components where that burning hot water goes and filters through. Every time you do that, you're getting release of plastic. Cake cups. Really, cake cups was a great invention, but one of the worst, right? Because one, you have the cup or the pods, that you throw out into the environment. Two, you're putting hot boiling water right through plastic to make that coffee. So cake cups are terrible. Tea bags are coming in these plastic liners, so that could also be problematic. Microwaving plastics, things in like Ziploc bags or Tupperware, anything plastic, and if you're microwaving it, it's not good. Boiling plastic bags. I've seen videos where people take meat or something and they put it into boiling hot water to cook it. Terrible. Cutting boards, plastic cutting boards. You want to get rid of those, get a wooden one. Hot beverage cups. People don't realize that when you get a paper cup, it's just paper on the outside. Inside is lined with plastic, right? That's what keeps it together. So hot beverage drinks that you get from, let's say, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, or wherever you get, uh, has plastic. Food storage containers, you put it into these little plastic you know, um, containers and you throw it in the fridge, not good. I made a video on chewing gum, but chewing gum also has plastics in them sometimes. Food delivery, you think about the food delivery service, how it's booming, right? Everybody gets Uber Eats and get it delivered to the house to, for convenience. So if you get hot food delivered, oftentimes it's in plastic, and then you get a soda that's acidic and you get it in a plastic cup. It, the, the amount of exposure that you get um, through these different avenues is an incredible amount. What you really need to do is start thinking about this 
and see where you can reduce your plastic exposure because a lot of plastic can increase your risk of heart attack, stroke, and, or even death. All right, my name is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on The Healthy Side. Have an awesome day.